Hi everyone and welcome back. So in previous couple of videos we were talking about Mocha and how to write the test cases for the Mocha. Now in this video let's do the asynchronous testing with Mocha. So if you look into the documentation that this is asynchronous code and what it says that we have to call done, we have to return done if we are writing asynchronous code, asynchronous test to let Mocha know that this is asynchronous code and you have to wait to execute this particular test case. I mean there are many ways to write uh, test cases now like uh, you can be testing the callback, you can be testing a promises, you can be testing async await, right? Let's say this is a simple async await logic here in the before each we are doing some cleanup and here we are using this async, right? If your function is async function then you can uh, you can await that function call and you can put a sync in the function expression. Now let, let's create a simple function here, a sync function. Uh, let's say get who, simple example. And what this function is doing, this function is returning a promise because this is a sync function. Now it depends on you, you what you wanted to return. You can return foo, you can return a simple promise, promise dot resolve. I mean both these lines are same. So this is our simple function and we wanted to test this. Okay, so we will copy the describe it block from our existing test cases. And what we are testing is we are testing get foo function. So this is our function get foo and we don't need a multiple describe block. We can just say testing get foo async function. Now uh, when we are calling this function let's say now this function what this function is this function is returning a promise right. So how to do deal with this kind of a problem. There are two ways, either you return and we are already, when we call this function it is going to return a promise get foo dot then and inside this it may return some result, let's say it is returning result, this callback will execute and here we can write our test case. So we can expect, we can use this expect from chai and we can just say hey, let's import this here and we can use expect here for the assertion expect result to equal what we are expecting we are expecting foo right this is a one way to handle this kind of asynchronous testing, right? What this function is, this function is returning a promise because this is a sync function or we can use just another way. I mean, this is simple arrow function. We don't need to keep writing functions every time. We can use arrow function in this place and we can make this function async because this get foo function is a sync function so we can say give me a result by calling this function and this is await execution because I'm going to wait for this and then I will say expect results to be to be equal to foo right so what I did I'm using this async and everything seems fine right so this is another way to handle the asynchronous test execution. So it will await for the execution and then it will run the test case. Okay, this is the objective of this particular video. Now in the next video, let's say we are going to write a simple utility and then we will write async, uh, synchronous, asynchronous, all kind of test cases for that library. Okay, uh, thanks everyone.